Hello, welcome to FIGOR CNC 8055 MC Profile Editor Lesson Number 6 Multiple Profiles. In my example, I will be using my simulator software. You will be using your FIGOR 8055 front panel with your enter key, your escape key, your up and down arrow keys, and the F3 key to launch the profile editor. Let's take a look at a blueprint. Here we have a sample blueprint where we want to do two different profiles. Here we have a part that is held inside a vise and we want to mill our end radius on the left side and also an end radius on the right side of the part. We have our part zero here. We know where the center of the radius is. For both of them. Let's take a look at how this project will come together now. To begin, we'll press the F3 key. This is where the beginning of the profile cut will start in our part example. It'll be at one inch, minus two, plus we have to give some allowance for the cutter. We'll go down uh, 0.75 so it'll be minus 2.75. One inch, minus 2.75. And now we're up to the profile number. Uh, currently, if we look in the library by pressing the down arrow key, and we arrow down, you can see that 17 is the last profile created. So we'll start with 18. We'll press the recall key. Of course, yours is on your front panel labeled recall. Very first thing I'm going to do is press the enter key, profile, and here's my Cartesian initial starting point. Uh, that's going to be the same as where we previously plotted it in the cycle. So again, that's going to be at one inch and minus 2.75. And here's our preview in purple. Let's validate that. So here's our beginning point. Okay. We're going to want to do a straight line up to this beginning point of the arc. Go clockwise around the arc and then also come off with an exit line. So we're going to do a line F1. We're going to go to X2 remains the same. Y2 is going to go to minus 2 inches and I'm going to be traveling at a 90 degree angle. Here's the preview of the line. I'm going to validate it. We now want to do a clockwise arc and again X2 remains the same but Y2 goes to 0. The center of the arc is at 1 inch y minus one inch and here the profile editor already has enough information to complete this step validate again a straight line with the f1 x2 remains the same y2 is going to go to a positive 0.75 and we're going to be traveling at a 90 degree angle on the line again our preview and validate the first profile is now complete you'll see that we have another button called New Profile. If we press F4, we're actually breaking this profile. Now we're going to go and draw the next profile. So the beginning of the next profile, let's look at our blueprint, is at 9 inches. So we're going to go to 9 inches and positive 0.75. There's the preview. Validate. We're going to do a straight line. X2 remains the same. Y2 moves to zero. And we're, this time we're traveling at a minus 90 degree angle. Validate. Again, we're going to do a clockwise arc. X2 remains the same. Y2 goes to minus two. X center is at nine. Y center is at minus one. And again, it has enough information to solve it at this point. Validate. 
another straight line exiting off of this profile. X2 remains the same. Y2 goes to minus 2.75 and again minus 90 degree angle on the line. And validate. Okay. If you remember from lesson number three, we talked about how to change these linear lead on and lead offs to uh, an entry tangential and an exit tangential. So we'll press the escape key twice. We'll go to the modify key. And we're going to go to corners, F4. And we're going to choose tangential entry. But now because we have more than one profile, we get some new soft keys that pop up that weren't shown previously to go to the previous profile or the next profile. So we're going to go to the next profile and here is the entry point of the first profile. The radius, I'm going to choose 0.5 and here we have our tangential entry. Now we're going to do the exit and it automatically selected it on the same profile. 0.5 now we're going to do tangential entry, but again, we now need to go to the next profile. Here is the tangential entry of this profile. And we'll type in 0.5 and the exit, 0.5. This project is complete. Let's save and continue. We'll press the escape key twice. We'll finish it and we'll name this project. We'll call this Profile 1. Enter. Okay. So we have profile number 18. Okay. We already have all our values all set from previous projects. And we have left side cutter comp. I'm going to press the graphics icon key on my keyboard. Type of graphics. XY, clear the screen, cycle start, display, and optimize. Okay, here we have profile number one, and then it leads over to profile number two. But we have a problem. We have a continual cutting line that joins profile number one and profile number two together but we don't remember drawing that in the profile editor. Let's escape out of here and let's go back to the profile and we're going to press the recall key and you will see here that the Fagor profile editor when performing a profile automatically joined the profiles together with a continual cutting line. Now, if we look at our example, you can see that that's not going to work for us. Uh, if we lead on, cut around, lead off, come up to about here, we're going to wind up cutting straight across the vise because Z is going to remain at depth if it's a continual cutting line. And then we're going to cut around this profile. So the problem that we have is that Z remains at depth when it goes to the second profile. Um, sure, I could have made the exit line longer and we could go around the vise, but really that's a waste because this is going to be traveling at cutting feed rate. So it's going to be traveling very slowly as if it were cutting material traveling over to the second profile. So this creates a problem that we must overcome. So even though the profile editor allows us to draw multiple profiles, you have to take into consideration that they must all be joined together at the same cutting depth. You may draw as many profiles as you like, but they all must share the same depth. There will not be any Z retract when going to the next profile. So, the solution to this is to eliminate this profile and this joining line that chained them together. And we're going to leave just profile number one, and then we're going to create a program that cuts two different profiles or two different events back to back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Modify, 
delete an element and I'm going to go to previous and it highlights the very last entity in the chain and I'm going to press the enter key and it's going to delete that. I'm going to delete another element again previous enter delete another element previous enter delete another element previous enter okay so now we only have profile number one save and continue exit twice finish save it to profile one enter okay so now when we go to the graphics icon key clear the screen we only cut one profile then Z retracts clear of the part okay now we're going to create profile number 19 and we're going to press the recall key and now we're going to create the second profile as a separate profile so profile Cartesian point and again if you remember we're drawing this profile at the 9 inch location. So initial point will be 9, positive 0.75, validate. We're going to do a line. X2 remains the same. Y goes to 0, traveling at a minus 90 degree angle. Validate. A clockwise arc. X2 remains the same. Y2 goes to minus 2. X center is at 9 and minus 1. It already has enough information to solve it. No need to enter the radius. And then another straight line. X2 remains the same. Y2 goes to minus 2.75 at an angle of minus 90 degrees and validate it. And again, we're going to escape twice to get to the modify key. We're going to choose corners, tangential entry. This is the correct point, point five, and the tangential exit. And that is going to be also point 0.5. Okay, this profile is complete. Save and continue. Escape twice. Finish. And we'll name this one profile 2. Okay, now the next step is that we must go into our part program by pressing the p.program key and we need to save both of these profiles or basically two events separately. So I'm going to go ahead and press the down arrow key and I'm going to choose profile number one to begin with. And I'm going to press my part program key. And I'm going to create a new part by pressing enter. Okay. Part program number seven is the next program available. Okay. Profile one dash two. So this will include both profiles. Okay. And I'll press the enter key and enter in profile. This will be the first profile. I'll press the escape key. I'm going to arrow up and again arrow down, expand the library, choose profile number two, enter. Okay, after we load profile number 19, we now also have to change the starting point. So I'm going to arrow up and this X now becomes 9 inches. And the Y becomes positive 0.75. Now I'm going to go to my part program. And I'm going to enter in the next step. So again, this is profiling with the first profile, number 1. This is profiling with the second profile. A little arrow to the left will highlight the part program to run complete steps one and two. And now we'll go to the graphics simulator. Clear the screen.
Press cycle start. Display area, optimize. And now we have our completed part. Now you'll see the difference where we lead on to the part, cut the radius, Z retracts, then becomes a rapid movement across the vise to the next entry point on part profile number two. Z moves to depth, cuts around the part, Z retracts. This completes lesson number six.